Hey guys, Larry here. A couple videos ago I teased the automatic light activator in one of my videos. It's pretty cool, but I didn't show you how to build it. Sorry. Uh, I'm kind of new to YouTube. You're going to have to give me a break. Anyway, in this video I'm going to go step by step and show you guys exactly what I did to make this work. So let's get right into it. Here is the automatic light activation system. What you're going to need here is uh, a, an array of solar panels. Uh, using just one solar panel is not good because the sun doesn't always face the same direction. So you're going to need to spawn yourself in uh, four. I use four just because north, south, east, and west. And then you're going to need uh, root combiners, three of them. And you're going to need a cable tunnel. So you just place them on your roof opposite directions like so, east and then north and then west so that'll give you a 360 degree coverage and you'll be able to get the most light possible out of your solar array so then you grab three root combiners these take two inputs and combine them into one we'll just put the cable trough right there for later uh, I'm gonna show you a bug with that in a few minutes so this is gonna be your master output this is gonna take all four solar panels and combine them into one so this is going to combine two, and then two more, and we'll just link these up. So you take your electric output, and I like to be neat. So once you get into big product projects, it gets messy. So there's your output one. Bring the other one over. That's number two. So now we've got two there. We're going to do the same thing here. One and two. All right, so now we've got two banks of two, so now we're gonna combine those into a quad. So we take the output of that one, come over here to our final output and bring it in, oh, bring it into number one. And this one, same thing, we'll bring that into number two. So now we have a solar array that's gonna give us a really good indication of whether the sun's out or not. And then we're just gonna send that inside through the cable tunnel, boom. Alright, so that's also going to give us probably 48 volts of power during the daytime, so we won't have to use our generator in the daytime. So the cable tunnel is basically uh, something to go through walls. So then we're going to take a splitter because we want to be able to do more than one thing with our solar power. And uh, we just take a, take a, a counter, throw it off to the side there, and we're going to route the power into the counter and you're gonna see why so we want to be able to see like how much power is coming in so we got to switch that over to show what the pass-through voltage is so we got 43 volts we got a bit of line loss from the um, combiners and stuff we'll just put that in the splitter and now we have three outputs from our solar panels so yeah just keep in mind that each um, output will decrease the total uh, amount of volts that you're going to receive so it's going to be a third of the voltage off of each one all right so let's get the automatic circuit going we need a blocker and a counter and a light uh maybe a switch too we'll do that in a minute let's get the generator down first so in nighttime obviously there's no sun we're going to need a power source for nighttime and that's what the small generator is for Okay, so let's split the circuit in half. Let's work on the output. So the end goal here is to make the lights come on. Let's set up the lights and connect those together. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm just thinking here, like, what if we don't want the lights to come on all night? Or if we want to, like, manually shut them off. Let's just put that right there. And grab a switch so if we want to manually shut the lights off and disable the automatic circuit we'll just have a switch yeah so we'll put the output of the switch into the light we'll take a pass through and keep it neat and square it off nice square lines looks good a neat project is a good project okay so we've got that all hooked up and we can 
we can enable or disable our lights and still keep the automatic function. All right, so we're gonna take uh, output from the power supply. We're gonna bring it up to, uh, to the blocker here, into the power input, just like that. So now we've got power going into the blocker and both lights are green, which means there's nothing on the blocking input. We have a little measure of our volts there. So we got 48 volts coming off the power supply going into the switch. And we'll just turn it on. Everything works. Yep, cool. Okay, so now we're going to put the automatic function in. So we're going to take an output from our solar panels. And we're going to come over to our blocker. And we're going to use the output of our solar panels to block the voltage coming from the generator. Just like that. So anytime there's voltage coming out of the solar panels, it'll tell the blocker to turn off. As you can see, there's a green light on top. That means there is power there, but the red light on bottom signifies that the blocking input is uh, high. And high just means it's receiving voltage. Okay, so if we change the time to zero, you can see that the voltage off the solar panels goes away. It's a little bit delayed there and the blocking input goes low and the lights come on. You can disable them with the switch, but for the majority of the you know time, it's gonna be automatic. Uh, when the sun comes up, the lights are gonna go off. And then when the sun goes down, they will come on. So uh, let's just bring, uh, let's put a battery in here. So let's get an ore switch and a battery. So let's uh, demonstrate how we can use either power source or both power sources to power a system or charge a battery. So that's what an OR switch does. It will output power to whatever you plug into it if either of the power sources are present. So let's demonstrate right now. There's no power coming off the solar panels. Let's put that into an output input on the OR switch. Input B, and you can see it stayed red uh, the battery's not charging at this time. All right, so let's take an output off of the power supply. And we'll throw that in. You'll see the A light turn green. Boom. So now we've got two power sources potentially that can charge the battery. So right now it's taking power only from the generator. And when daytime comes around... The lights will switch off automatically and you'll see both lights turn green and now you're getting a pretty good okay let's actually let's see exactly what the voltage is Let me use a counter for that take the power out go into the counter set it to pass through 48 volts cool and we'll hook the battery back up so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something from this and I hope it sparks your interest in the new electricity system because you can do some really cool stuff with this. Um, this is just a basic, basic, basic uh, circuit, but uh, there are others out there who are designing some pretty cool stuff. So uh, stay tuned, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.